interweek trial plots today. So we're looking at the different varieties and species that we had. We planted a total of 22 different varieties. Some are Italian ryegrasses, some are winter wheats. This is the wheat section. And I was just noticing on some of them that we've actually got some rust on just, just starting to come in. Most of the fields this year in the valley because of the weather situations and, um, and the amount of wheat that we're planting in these things now are, are becoming more rust resistant to them because of the varieties that we're bringing in. So in the olden days, almost all the fields got really rusty. So we've selected nothing but the best varieties now that are totally rust resistant. So again, you can see these varieties here are different than this one. We're looking at all of them for standability, for yield, and then also for melt per acre. That's really important that I really try and focus on is to make sure we have the melt per acre that, um, that the nutrients are in there very um, dense and concentrated so that when we do go ahead and feed it to the cattle they milk the absolute best as possible. So we're looking for standability, we're looking for rust resistance, we're looking for winter hardiness and then overall we're looking for milk per acre coming back on the wheats. We'll go down to the Italian ryegrasses and take a look at them now as well. So we're in the ryegrass trial plots and you can see the different colorations on the ryegrasses. Some are these, this is um, a diploid ryegrass, this one's a tetraploid which is a multi-celled one. We're, um, we're taking different species of them, we're blending them together in our mix to make sure we get the best of both. So this one here is um, very high yielding as well, but maybe not quite as winter hardy. This one's a little bit more winter hardy. So we're taking different parts of the blends of different rye grasses from our trial plots, looking at them all individually, taking the best of the best for melt production standability as well, and then also for winter hardiness and blending them all into our mix. And so because we got this going on, this is our 20th year that we're doing it, we've got a really good idea which varieties work the best in a blend. And it's from those blends that we try and pick up the absolute best ones on the varieties to put in the blends to make sure that when you plant a mix, a cover crop mix to us, you're getting the best and the newest technologies on the newest varieties coming in because we've looked at them all on the trial plots for a couple of years before we put them in the blends. So we'll now look across the road at one that's a total blend that we have with the clover and everything else too, and it looks very impressive. So now we're in our platinum um, red tag blend. So this is a blend that we made up based off the trial plot some last year, taking the best varieties that we saw, the Italian ryegrasses and the winter wheats. And now we've added some clover in there as well too. That looks really, really good. It's just coming up now through the canopy as well, but this um, mix now you can see hasn't lodged at all. It's about up to my, just below my waist basically. And uh, the yield will be very, very heavy, maybe the six to seven ton range uh, per acre. So it looks really, really good. But it's a combination of 20 years of work trying to get to where we are that are rust resistance, that stand up good, that are winter hardy as well. Plus as well now, you know when you're cutting it, we try and get the longest window we can get for uh, nutrient value as well too so that it doesn't peak like fall rye does and then all of a sudden as soon as the heads start coming out the nutrient value goes way down. So we try and get varieties that also have a fairly long window where they stay up, they, their yield is there, but their nutrient quality, their fiber and their protein don't drop off that much. So this is the blend, we're really, really happy with it. It's worked out really, really good this year. It looks really good and I hope everybody's out there today cutting and harvesting and pulling it up and we'll look at the analysis coming back and we'll again tweak the blend again for this upcoming season. Season.